uh greetings once more it's still mr Tlatwayo. now what we are looking at now basically i want us to understand our cylinder right uh i want us to try and understand uh our cylindrical shape and see in terms of what is expected of us in here right now uh so let's start here now the first question is we are going to find out what is going to be the surface area and also the volume of this particular thing right now let's see in terms of what is it that you are going to do so now for our surface area now the surface area of our cylinder remember that the cylinder is made up of two things right uh, it is made up of these two cycle sites now if let's say i can draw this this is made up of something like this right and then two cycles in here and also the two cycles in here right basically uh, when it's jointed i would get it's something like this you can still you know uh, when you're folding it it's going to give you your cylindrical shape right uh, uh so now let's start here so therefore the surface area or the total surface area here it is going to be given by what uh it is going to be given by two area of your cycle right it's going to be two area of your cycle and then now the other one is going to be plus what plus the area of your rectangle plus your area of your rectangle i think this is the layout that i've just drawn for you there right so this is the two cycles and then this is the rectangle that i'm referring to so therefore which means what is the area of your cycle this is 2 pi uh, r squared plus this is going to be same as 2 pi uh, r h isn't it so so basically that is going to be uh your total surface area formula and then therefore what else then are we then going to have here now so this is going to be same as 2 pi then what is the radius uh the radius is given by what it is given by 10 plus this is same as 2 uh pi uh then this is going to be what this is same as uh, again uh, multiply by 10 multiply by what multiply by 30 right so basically that is going to be that and now when you are doing that what is what is it that you're going to find now obviously this is going to be same as 20 pi plus what is going to be this one when you say uh this 10 multiplied by 30 or this is going to be same as you what when you say uh your 10 multiplied by 30 why am i saying 3 10 multiplied by 30 you're going to get 300 300 multiplied by 2 is 600 so this is 600 pi right so therefore what is it that you're going to do now when you say that this is same as 620 620 pi and then what is going to be 620 pi therefore 620 pi is going to be given by uh one this is going to 1000 uh 947 comma what we said round off to what decimal place comma what this is comma eight then this is going to be same as centimeter uh, what centimeter squared so basically that is going to be your surface area of this particular one now let's say we are looking at its volume right now the volume uh obviously the volume again is given by what the volume is given by the area of your cycle the area of your cycle right this is going to be the area of a cycle multiplied by what multiplied by the height right so basically that is going to be that and now what is going to be that one which means this is same as pi r squared which is the area of the cycle multiplied by what multiplied by h so therefore the volume that you are going to have here this is same as pi into uh 10 squared uh multiplied by what 10 squared uh this is still multiplied by what this is multiplied by your height which is going to be 30 and then now let's see so when you say that this is same as uh 100 right remember this is same as uh 100 multiplied by 30 uh shift then you are having your pi there then the answer is going to be uh your 3000 3000 pi and then therefore what is going to be that 3000 pi is going to be given by uh 9000 this is 9424.8 uh centimeter what centimeter cube because that's going to be a volume so basically this is how you are going to calculate the volume of the first one now let's look at now uh the second one and see in terms of what is it what is expected of us in here all right now let's look at the second one and see in terms of what is it that you can do here to understand this particular thing now for the second one now uh here we are still doing the same thing we are finding our area so now that we know the area from the surface area formula you say surface area formula is going to be given by 2 pi r squared plus your 2 pi 
uh, R8. And then this is same as your 2 pi. Uh, then this is same as what is your radius there? Your radius here is given by 24 millimeters uh, squared, right? Uh, then this is going to be same as plus 2 pi. And then what is going to be your radius? Your radius is going to be 24. Uh, right, multiply by what? Multiply by 135, right? So what is going to be this one? Now, when you're doing this, this is the same as uh, when you say 2 multiply by uh, multiply by 24, uh, 24 is squared. This is the same as 1,110.52 pi plus this other one is going to be what? This is the same as when you say 24 multiply by 1, uh, 35, this is going to give you 3,000. So this is going to be 3,000. Let's say we say multiply this by 2 again. Uh, when you say the answer multiply by 2, this is same as 6,000. Uh, 6,480 pi, right? Then therefore, when you add these, this one plus 1, 1, 5, 2, what is going to be the answer? This is 7,000. Uh, 7,632, uh, right? Uh, 632 pi and then now from here what is it that you are going to do now when you say uh uh this uh with the pi when you say uh your seven six uh three two and then you say shift pi and then what is going to be the answer this is same as twenty three thousand twenty three thousand nine hundred and seventy six uh point what point uh six uh centimeters squared right so basically this is going to be your surface area now when you are looking now at your volume your volume again you know that it's given by what the volume is given by pi r squared h the volume of your uh of your cylinder right and therefore what is going to be this this is going to be same as pi then the r is 24 this is going to be 24 squared then the h is 135 right and now, therefore, what is going to be this particular one? This is the same as uh, 24 squared. Uh, 24 squared, this is multiplied by 135. And then what is it that you are going to have? Uh, then the answer that you are going to have here, this is the same as 77760 pi, which is going to be given by what? The answer that you are going to have here, this is going to be shift uh, pi of this particular answer. And then let's see in terms of what is it that you're going to do. This is seven seven uh seven uh six zero. Then shift your pi. And then the answer that you are basically going to get, this is going to be uh two four four two nine zero point two uh four. This is going to be centimeter what centimeter uh squared, right? This is going to be centimeter cube rather, which is going to be your volume. Okay. So this is as far as these questions are concerned. Thank you very much.